Hi, welcome to the webinar related to PMP stakeholder management, a knowledge area defined in PMI's PMB OK 6th edition. So as part of this webinar, we are going to understand what is the stakeholder management all about. So I am CMR Chandra MR, a certified project management professional, Prince 2, Agile Scrum Master, ITIL expert in ITIL V3, ITL managing professional in ITIL 4, Kubit 5, and DevOps. So the agenda of this webinar includes understanding what is project stakeholder management, overview on stakeholder management, and the processes involved in stakeholder management. So now let us come back to the topic. So when I say stakeholder, we need to understand the dynamics associated with the stakeholder, who will become the stakeholder for a project, and why should we engage with the stakeholder, and why should we do whatever is required to be done with the stakeholder, which is very essential for us to look at it very carefully. Because there will be stakeholders who are main decision makers who can entirely influence the project and make or break the project. There will be stakeholders who will have nothing to do with this particular project, but they may create noise. There may be stakeholders who will get impacted because of the project. So likewise, with various different relationships, various different alignment, there will be stakeholders for every given project. So project stakeholder management needs to be understood in terms of what is this stakeholder management is all about? Why should I manage a stakeholder? So PMI's PMBOK defines the project stakeholder management as identification of the stakeholders like people, group, organizations, who would impact, get impacted, who would influence, get influenced and analyze what are the expectations of various different stakeholders identified and how their involvement will impact, influence, impacted or influenced to the project and to the stakeholders and create and develop appropriate strategies to effectively engage with stakeholders so that stakeholders engagement or stakeholders involvement benefits the project. It should not take away the project's objectives. So it should complement to the project. So project stakeholder management is very important knowledge area. And as we know, I think communication in a project management, project manager, the amount of time the project manager spends around 90%. That is very essential. This itself says the kind of involvement a project manager should have, the sensitivity project manager should have while looking at the stakeholder involved for a project, the way they impact the project. So stakeholder management overview involves considerations of various trends and emerging practices related to stakeholder management. So as part of this, we need to identify all the stakeholders being a project manager. So identification of all the stakeholder involves all those who are involved in the project, who are internal to the project, and who are external to the project, who doesn't involve in the project directly. So one has to identify all of those stakeholders. Then ensuring that all team members are involved in stakeholder engagement activities at various different levels and in various different capacities. So one has to review the stakeholder community regularly and the dynamics, the transactions associated with it. Then consulting with stakeholder, engaging with stakeholder is very essential. Then capturing the value of effective stakeholder engagement. So did we really create that value which is looked up to by a stakeholder or is that creating that value what is expected? If I say customer as a stakeholder, the value associated with is different. If I say my team member is a stakeholder, the dynamics differs. If I say competition to an organization is a stakeholder, dynamics differs. The supplier or a partner with my organization and my project, dynamics differs. The family members of the people who are working in the project, the team members, dynamics differs. So there will be stakeholders where a project manager should engage, involve directly, there will be stakeholder where project manager need not involve directly to manage them. Maybe team members would involve. There will be stakeholders who anyone in the project team need not involve with those stakeholders. So likewise, understanding who are the stakeholders, how are they going to impact the project, how are they going to get impacted, influenced, and how are they going to influence, and what is the distance they have from the project to make any impact to the project or get impacted. So this visualization is important so that appropriate engagement can happen with the stakeholders so that required value can be created. Project objectives can be achieved. So this involves the tailoring considerations like stakeholders diversity. When I say stakeholder diversity, I already mentioned where exactly the stakeholder would exist. 
so every stakeholder comes up with a different background different authority different ability to influence capabilities they come up with so that diversity needs to be acknowledged first understood one cannot ignore it is very sensitive one then complexity of stakeholder relationship the moment if i say stakeholder obviously there's a lot of intellect emotions which are involved the swing in these aspects which happens regularly so that is not visible directly so one needs to be sensitive about it for a given context even though there is an engagement plan defined there is some interpersonal skills required for the person who is engaging with the stakeholder so accordingly whenever there is an information need to be put the message has to be put to someone having sensible to that scenario that message has to be given and also the relationship needs to be managed communication technology so various communication technology today every business organizations use and project management or project environment also has it so this also plays an important role so a communication channel a technology used to communication can also create noise that noise which is there in the communication the choice of words also the choice of vocabulary also plays a role in communication which would give a different meaning to the different stakeholders so when for example when i give a report when i review if i am doing that with a sponsor i would give it a different template and different content which is presented certain way whereas i am doing the same review with my team members as a project manager the content the template would vary and the message what needs to be conveyed also varies so the language needs to be used varies the technology platforms the channels which needs to be used varies so these variations deviations has to be properly understood only then you will have a effectiveness in terms of handling stakeholders then the processes of stakeholder management so there are around four processes so identify stakeholder which is an initiating process group plan stakeholder engagement which is in planning process group manage stakeholder engagement which is in executing process group monitor stakeholder engagement which is in monitoring and controlling process group so all these processes are very essential so if you closely observe this i said identify stakeholder process is in initiating process group so if you look at the entire knowledge areas of the one which is defined in pmp if you look at very closely this is the only knowledge area where you see a process in initiating process group other than integration management so in initiating process group there are only two processes one in integration management and other one is in stakeholder management so if you visualize the project the way it flows in a project life cycle identification of stakeholder happens immediately after developing the project charter the first job of a project manager is to identify the stakeholders go sit with the stakeholders create the stakeholder register have the details of the stakeholders so this is the first process and only knowledge area other than integration management which has a process in initiating process group let us look at the first process identify stakeholders so identify stakeholder is a process in initiating process group as i mentioned which is basically focuses on identifying all the project stakeholders not once regularly throughout the project life cycle and documenting the relevant information required to understand about the stakeholders like interest of the stakeholders involvement requirement of a stakeholder interdependency ability to influence the impact or influence or impacted influenced to this terms how is this specific stakeholder is related the project stakeholders are regularly identified analyzed throughout the project life cycle so it cannot happen at once so stakeholders in the projects keeps changing you may onboard new supplier so you have a new stakeholder you may have a person who onboarded into a project like a team member there is a resignation which has happened there is a change in the team member there is a movement of team member right in the customer organization there may be change in the point of contact to this project reasons may be various so understanding this dynamics of change of stakeholders regularly identifying the stakeholder and updating the stakeholder register is very essential so identifying stakeholder is not a process which happens once in the entire project life cycle it will happen throughout the project life cycle inputs to this process involves project charter business documents project management plan then project documents agreements enterprise environmental factors and organization process assets so these details like project charter because it is in the same process group 
business document because based on that a specific project charter is defined and that also tells who are the primary stakeholders and uh, if at all any project documents are available a like change log issue log requirements documentation that will also help so project management plan basically which helps in terms of basic plan whichever is available at that point in time also tells what is this project is all about and how the project is supposed to progress any established agreements will also help in going and speaking to that particular stakeholder so eef and opa obviously to understand what is there in that particular environment which helps which guides or which becomes a reference while going and identifying the stakeholders then tools used during identification of stakeholder would be expert judgment data gathering data analysis data representation and meetings so the output of this process is it is obvious that is stakeholder register so stakeholder register which captures all the details of the identified stakeholders in terms of the position the authority the ability to influence and the proximity of the stakeholder relating to the project in what distance the stakeholder is then next output would be change request if at all any change to the stakeholder register in terms of new stakeholder has to be added some stakeholders needs to be removed so change request is required then project management plan updates and project document updates next process is plan stakeholder engagement so plan stakeholder engagement is the process which will have all those approaches which are involved in terms of engaging with stakeholders their needs expectations interest potential impact on the project so this process is part of planning process group so in this process various approaches are curated in order to involve the stakeholders on the basis of their needs interest expectations and impact and influence what they have into the project so this is performed at the periodic intervals throughout the project life cycle and whenever the new stakeholder is identified so even then you need to understand do this how am i going to engage with this particular stakeholder so the tools and techniques involved will be various like as i mentioned earlier when a stakeholder involved and people are involved it is very essential for us to have a appropriate engagement plan so while having a engagement plan defined so we need to consider certain things which are required to understand who is the stakeholder first so according to the input should be project charter project management plan project documents like we see assumptions log change log issue log project schedule risk register stakeholder register but one point i want to mention here many times when i conduct training especially in stakeholder management i keep getting the question like this process is in planning process group but we are speaking about assumptions log change log issue log which project manager refers throughout the project life cycle so how is that coming in so we need to understand this process including identify stakeholder process doesn't happen only in once in the particular project life cycle these are repetitive as the particular stakeholder changes update should happen to the stakeholder register as you update to the stakeholder register it is essential to create that plan that engagement plan so you are updating that plan as well that happens throughout the project life cycle maybe almost like you reach the end of the project even then you may require to have a different stakeholders so that is a continued exercise throughout the project life cycle continually you need to update then other set of inputs should be agreements efs and opa the tools and techniques used for plan stakeholder engagement process would be expert judgment data gathering data analysis decision making data representation and meetings the outputs of this process is quite obvious stakeholder engagement plan which will tell who is the stakeholder what are the expectations it will have the details what are the engagement requirements when should i meet why should i meet what is the objective of engaging with the stakeholder and what transaction should happen with that stakeholder how frequently how often that engagement should happen that also needs to be addressed in stakeholder engagement plan so next process which is in executing process group that is manage stakeholder engagement so manage stakeholder engagement is the process of communicating and working with stakeholders so that their expectations are met their issues whichever occurs during the project life cycle are addressed resolved then involvement of the stakeholders will be according to such that organization or project is helped to accomplish the objective of the project so they are in the complementing engagement so various steps are taken for establishing that better communication and maintaining the good relationship with the stakeholders so along with these their concerns their issues are addressed and appropriate stakeholders involvement is fostered as well 
So it is performed throughout the project lifecycle as I mentioned. So this should help a project manager in terms of ensuring there is increased support from a particular stakeholder. Now we need to understand one thing when I say manage stakeholder, when we identify stakeholder and when we plan for that engagement, we need to ensure the engagement happens accordingly. So if I assume a stakeholder who is high in terms of authority, the power and has high interest in this project. Now that particular stakeholder definitely is a decision maker for this project who can influence things. So we cannot ignore such stakeholders. One has to engage with the stakeholder very closely, update, review with them very closely. At the same time, certain stakeholders, what we think about may be in different state altogether. So their active involvement may be required, but they are unaware of this project. So you may require to involve them, push them, pull them, whatever the approach you take, interpersonal skills which you have, interpersonal and team skills. You need to engage with them, create that awareness and ensure they are in the project actively involved. So likewise, various different stakeholders who will have a different set of state of existence. When I say state of existence, they may be in the unaware state. They may be in the resistant state. They may be neutral. They may be supportive. They may be leading. So whatever the state they are in, so you need to decide what state they are supposed to be in this project. What is the required state versus what is the state they are. So this engagement should help in terms of pulling them back to the required one, required engagement or required state of existence for the stakeholder. A team member cannot be in a resistive state or unaware state. Definitely team member should be in supportive, not in neutral as well, supportive. It means the person should be doing the job. So those dynamics are associated with stakeholder which needs to be understood very carefully. The inputs to this process involves project management plan, which is communication management plan, risk management plan, stakeholder management plan and change management plan. Then project documents, which is change logs, issue logs, lessons learned register, stakeholder register, EF and OPA. So culture plays a very important role when I say stakeholder within an organization. Now, the way the people, the stakeholders engage with themselves, the way they conduct themselves, the way they communicate among themselves, the way they treat themselves, all this plays a very important role. So being a project manager, being sensitive to this, so you may require to influence that culture which makes or which is required for a specific project's success. So you cannot just do away with that culture. You may require to influence those. So the tools used for this would be expert judgment, communication skills, interpersonal team skills, ground rules which has to be set for certain transactions and then meetings. Outputs, output involves change requests, project management plan updates and project documents updates. So next process is monitor stakeholder engagement. So monitor stakeholder engagement is the process in monitoring and controlling process group which is the process of monitoring project stakeholder relationship and tailoring strategies for engaging stakeholders through modification of engagement strategies and plans. So as part of this process, the relationships of project stakeholders are monitored and various strategies are tailored in order to engage with the stakeholder using engagement plans and strategies. The process is performed, has to be performed throughout the project life cycle and this will help increasing the efficiency and effectiveness of the implied stakeholders engagement activities. Which is a critical process. The success of a stakeholder engagement can ensure a success of project because there are decision makers, there are stakeholders who are doing activities in the project. Their active involvement is very essential for those stakeholders who needs to be involved. So understanding that is very essential. And accordingly, you have defined that engagement plan and you need to ensure it happens accordingly. The objectives are achieved. It's very essential. So inputs to this process should be project management plan which involves resource management plan, communication management plan, stakeholder management plan, project documents like issue logs, lessons learned register, project communications, risk register, stakeholder register, work performance data, EF and OPA. Then tools used as part of this process would be data analysis, communication skills, decision making, data representation, ground rules and then meetings. Outputs of this process includes work performance information, change request, if at all any deviations found in terms of the way the engagement happened, the way the objectives are accomplished, 
Now change request in stakeholder engagement. So if you look at it very carefully, earlier in any knowledge area when you speak in the entire framework, what we have discussed, whenever we say change request, we spoke about adding something, removing something, modifying something. But in this case, when we raise a change request, it also involves some approach what I have defined versus the approach with work. I may require to update that also, which is a specific dynamics which involves here in especially stakeholder engagement. Then project management plan updates and project documents updates would be the outputs for monitor stakeholder engagement. So that's all about stakeholder management knowledge area defined in PMI's PMP, that is PMBOK. I think this will provide certain insight towards stakeholder engagement, but in real time, it is more than what is told here, which requires a lot of sensitivity, a lot of involvement, a lot of understanding of the dynamics of that environment. I hope this provided you certain insights which helped you to understand what stakeholder management is all about. Thank you very much for being with us.